nothing more relaxing than sitting by a fire on a hot, hot day. All right, so now that we've got the chimney coming through the roof right there and the mini stove right over there, we need to start building out the cabinet so that we can get to that side and have the whole structure built up. And this is our anchor point because we already have a stud here. Um, so I brought the four foot uh, square in so that we can find what's actually square to the floor so that we build the front of this cabinet nice and square because the wall is not. So what I did was uh, we measured from the f where the wall is going to go to the edge right down here and then we measured from the top to where the edge is going to be by holding a string and lining it up here and we found that the top is three quarters of an inch bigger than the bottom. And so this is our square edge. And so we're gonna have it kind of tilt up towards the wall going on that other side and slide back over here, followed by uh, another trim piece that'll cover that crack or whatever, it'll, it'll look nice. Um, so we're gonna cut this piece, get it all trimmed out uh, for the receptacle and the switch and then put it on and then continue building the cabinet out that way so that we could then mount the cubic mini and also get our lines hung so that we can uh, wash some clothes and have them dry. She loves it. It's time. It's time for clean clothes. So I wrote down my measurements here on my little piece of paper. And now we're gonna map out this, uh, this wall here. So this right here, this corner will be my square edge. So I'm gonna grab my pencil and make a little square box on the corner. So I remember that that is my square corner. That, so this is basically the front of the cabinet here. And then I'll just transpose my, my measurements onto the sheet of plywood. Let's get a 61 here also. Now, I like to verify my measurements with the, I use one tape primarily all the time. And uh, cause sometimes tapes can be a little bit different from one tape to the next. So if doing a project, well, when doing a project, I like to stick with one tape the entire time that helps out. There we go, now that it's all drawn out right here, uh, we're gonna use the circular saw and the guide to cut this area out. Uh, something also is that we're gonna create a couple of these that are 61 inches long. And so, um, uh, because we need probably about three of these dividers for what we're doing. Uh, so I'm probably going to just rip this piece 61 inches straight across uh, and then cut it into its, uh, its smaller pieces. That way uh, all of the walls go up nice and smooth. Nice, nice, nice. So now we'll rip this piece here and then rip our longer pieces over here. creating a knockout for the back of this box here and we're actually going to build a small little box that goes around the back because if I was to mount this here 
then there'd be all this dead space in between versus if the box poked out a little bit, we can have just a small box created for both the switches and the outlet down below, which would then maximize the amount of room inside the shelf because this is gonna be the interior wall of the shelf on this side so that this piece could then be just anchored to this stud right here and then also to the back wall. Knockout time with this knockout. Nice. That fits around there. And then that looks like it'll fit around there just fine. That just shows like how crazy the bus is. Yeah, that wall is curved from the side. Which is fine. We'll make it work. And then that gets pushed up there. And then that gets pulled back. This actually looks the best. There we had to make a lot of adjustments to get to this point. Cool. Yes, yes, yes. I think it'll work now. Looks great. <laughs> so that was. Uh, we gotta screw the other one on first. Let's see how this one fits. Now that we made those adjustments, we might have to cut this out a little bit more. I don't let bucks kicking out ass. Snoof. Ryan just marked a couple little pencil marks on the face of the cabinet to show where the stud is. So then we can screw into that again if we need to. Right, Brian? Right in. Next up, we need to make the brace or the framing for the back of the Cubic Mini, and this is gonna hold all the load. So what I'm gonna do is grab some old skid runners, and uh, these are two by four. They don't have any notches cut out for forks, so these are full two by fours here. I'm gonna take all the nails out and then cut it to size for the frame. Choosing these uh, two by fours, I just like to make sure that they're not warped in any direction. This one looks pretty good and that there's not too much splitting. A little bit damaged from taking the nails out, but that's that's all right. But considering we're using reclaimed wood, it takes a little bit longer process, but that's all right. At least we're keeping it out of the landfills and uh, making something old into something new. Now we'll cut it to size. These pieces here are essentially going to go uh, across the top. Let's see, let's do two there.
So this frame will go on the back side of the stove. And then um, on the front side will be a piece of plywood. So now we need to cut a piece of plywood that's big enough to cover this whole area here and up to the top of this. And then there will be a, like a little flat spot here and then the cabinet will continue up right there. So we've got the frame just kind of propped up there, mocking it up. Got a piece of plywood that we trimmed to the same height as the frame and the distance is between the point over here on the wall and the front edge of the cabinet which is 13 inches so instead of doing math on that like pythagorean's theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared we went ahead and just measured the distance once we had the frame set up pretty simple isn't it no math there now just reading the tape measure so this piece right here symbolizes the wall of the uh of the cabinet coming up obviously it's not going to be that long it's only going to be 13 inches this is for mock-up purposes only pretty sweet huh so this piece of uh birch ply will be screwed to the frame the frame will be screwed to the ground and then we'll have little blocking pieces that come out this way so we need to measure from that corner in there to here figure out what that angle is have one square edge and then one edge that is at that angle and we'll use the uh this guy we'll use this guy to figure that out by just putting it up in there so maybe i'll show that for you to you with you we'll do a little measure of rooney that's approximately you know what i'll use the all right so we're looking at four and five eighths inch four and five eighths if you can help me remember that that would be great four and five eighths four and five eighths oh you weren't talking to me <laughs> and then the angle needs to be that angle right there that angle right there so four and five eighths from the back point to the front point and uh and then we'll cut the angle on there Oh, that is solid. <laughs> Look at that. Damn, babe. That's without the cabinet. Nice. Mmm, cookie. Just in case you were wondering what that chopping sound was in the background. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? We like cookies. What? <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta keep us fed, you know? Make sure that we eat and have snacks. Good snacks. Switching to dirty old GRKs. Yeah, that's right. Now that we've got this uh, little bitty wall here, we're gonna build this next wall that goes up to the 61 inch mark. So we need it to be 13 inches by 61 inches. We're running the same issue with this wall. It's not vertical straight. So we might have a little bit of fun and excitement with that, just like we had with the other wall. <sighs> 
All right, so we've got this little bitty gap down in here, and I'm gonna try a little trick that we had seen somewhere where we're gonna match this entire side. with that curve and then we'll jigsaw this out which means that we'll probably have to go get a jigsaw bit because I broke the one that is the fine bit. There we go. So now this curve that I just drew should match the wall because it's skinnier here, it's thicker up there and it should just nest really nicely. See how it fits. Oh, yes. So excited. That fits extremely well. So happy that worked. Let's see what Aaron's up to. Getting that Varathane on there. All right, so that technique worked really freaking well. That's the tightest line I've ever gotten on a curved wall ever in my life. Although I haven't been around that long. Bullsh Look at that. That's lining up great. That'll connect right down in there without a problem. I just have it propped up right now. Y'all, this thing is going to be pretty freaking strong. And it's got to be because it's got to hold the, the mini wood stove. It's got to be able to hold tons of like jars and all sorts of canned foods that we're going to make. Oh, this is going to be really great to have this because right now we've got all sorts of stuff just all over. That's food, needs to go in the pantry. Food over there, stuff for uh, a drawers. Uh, we've got all of... Guys, it is ridiculous how not having pantries and not having drawers to put stuff in has been like making us our skin crawl, basically. So we gotta get this done. We gotta get this done today. So let's start building some more shelves and stuff right in here so that at least we can get this stuff off the floor and into a proper spot. What do you say? Did you hear that? Aaron told... What was that? Oh, I was, had you on camera. Yeah, this is filming still. All right, so the next thing for this is uh, this piece here needs to be 13 inches from the wall, um, but it needs to be square. So 13 inches is actually right here, that line right there. So we're gonna uh, scribe a line going this direction and then just continue the line up so that we make sure that this stays nice and square. So that is square right there, so that's good. So I'm just gonna make sure that's snugged up real nice. I'm gonna grab a pencil. Hopefully I have one in my pocket. Do I have one in my pocket? Oh, got a pen. That'll work. So that's snugged up. And... So once we're in the barn, I'm gonna just extend this line all the way up, and we're just gonna rip this thing straight because that's square to the ground, and that's just where it needs to go. You know what I'm saying?
Now I'm just gonna do a little Varathane on the outside face of this cabinet so that Brian can hang the fireplace. Let's go. More marathane. More marathane. Did you show them the floor? Kind of. All right, so that there is the toe kick. Well, not really a toe kick. It's more like a bucket stop a rooney. <laughs> so when we have storage buckets down here, uh, if they shift during travel, they'll hit this, they'll also hit the door, which will have a latch on it, but this will help absorb most of the uh, impact. And we also might have like a little hook -a rooney back here where we can have a like a handle strap where we can actually secure the bucket by the handle as well. So we haven't gotten to that yet though. So you're just gonna have to wait and see what we do. Editing. Film for you guys. Well, Brian builds a pantry. Thanks, Brian. Film bunny. Film bunny. That's right. A little dirt bag behind the scenes action for you. Oh. Whoa. That'll do. That'll do. What do you think? I think I could get down and groovy with that, but. All right. Then you will. Uh huh. Thing is way bigger than I ever imagined. <laughs> oh. Looks good, babe. Coming along. Like a wow. glove. trees coming together we now are able to mount the cute little wood burning stove our alternative heat source get it all mounted up to the chimney here figure out how much pipes gonna hang down and where this is gonna be and all that good stuff so first let's uh, mount the stainless steel heat shield against the back and then we'll get the cubic mini mounted and up through the chimney and all that good shit.
time for the first burn. Oh yeah. Uh, so Cubic Mini's website, they recommended to burn outside the first time because uh, it'll be uh, curing the paint. It's heat temp, heat resistant paint, but it's got a cure. And uh, so we'll burn outside. Another thing that they recommended is have six inch chunks of wood. So we've got three logs that uh, we split into little chunks and uh, hopefully, hopefully we get a little fire out of these guys. <laughs> we'll build a, a little, little stack here. Oh, the door sealed nice. Like I don't see any any smoke coming out from around the door. This is great. Now you can see some flames. I think that might be the paint curing process. All that smoke. Will that do its thing? Just man this fire. loving it. <laughs> Good evening. So not too much exciting happening with me. I have been verithaning up a storm. Check out the pantry. Brian has seriously done such a gorgeous job on this. All right, so here's the problem. We thought that we were done with the windows and all of that, but then we put this guy in and the curtains and the wall were just way too close. One of the main problems we've run into is having two many windows. Though we love, love, love the windows, the windows have posed some problems and the more stuff that we want, you know, we have to accommodate for that. So this is one of those situations. Right, Ron? Yeah, this is one of those. Yeah. It was necessary. Yeah. So we don't blow up a window or something. Hopefully it fits. like the edge of it. Almost there, almost there. Can you hammer? Oh man. Ba -ba! Window edit. <laughs> As yeah. if it was a shorter window. Who knew? <laughs> it doesn't look bad. It looks good. No, it doesn't look bad. Nobody's ever done that. Oh my god, that was quick, Garcia. Oh yeah. Nailed it. Yeah. Look what else Brian did. He put the perimeter thing on the fan. Oh yeah, that happened today, sir. Good job. Got tired of looking at the framing underneath there. We're getting shit done, hey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just gotta get shit done and not pick up the camera. <laughs> we'll show you what happens though. Yeah, we got all these. They're very themed, done. Tomorrow we'll be able to stack them up. Yeah. yeah. These guys are ready to fill up. Oh, there's already silverware. So exciting. So I'm gonna fill these bad boys up today because they are ready. We're gonna save so much counter space, guys. This is really exciting. <laughs> 